Okay, so this is my truck here. Um, before I start, what pisses me off about most YouTube videos these days and trying to fix a truck is when you look something up, there's much more talking than there is actually showing it. I watched this video and it was mostly the guy driving to the part store and coming back. Um, so when I show you how to do things, I'm not going to do that. This video is going to have a lot more talking because... Um, I'm just giving you a brief history of the truck, what I've already done with it, uh, before I go on with my other videos and showing you how I'm doing things. This is a 1991 Chevy Silverado K1500, which means it has four-wheel drive. I bought it from an old farmer. Um, after he died, I got it from his son. <clears throat> uh, the brief history on the truck... Uh, he, he bought this truck brand new. He was an older guy. He drove it really nice and in 10 years he put 341,000 miles on it in 10 years. Uh, what happened was the transmission gave out and then it just sat for 20 years. I got a hold of it. I robbed a transmission of one of my uncle's junkyard trucks and then sit in his yard. It was, only has about 12 of those. And it worked just fine. I mean, I just had to replace the fuel pump, and that's all it took to get the engine running. Um, speaking of the engine, we'll go to that. So uh, after I drove it for a little bit, I tried driving it up to Kasharam. I don't expect you to know where that is. I'm in Utah. So I'll say if you're interested, you can look it up, but it's the middle of nowhere. It only has like 100 people in it. Um, and my gaskets all blew up so this is my engine block at the moment what happened was the gaskets blew up almost all of them and when i went to drain my oil the first thing that came out was a quarter bucket of antifreeze i had a two gallon bucket so half a gallon of antifreeze and then i had a gallon and a half of actual oil now this is all the truck parts that i've been taking out those are my tools and then I have some more tools on the inside of my truck, which you probably saw if you were paying attention. Um, now, what I didn't take a video for was replacing the timing chain here and smacking the pistons out. Although I will take a video of smacking the pistons back in that I'm fixing up. And I will have a video of me um, replacing those without a machine shop as well. This number three cylinder here was my biggest problem. I took my piston heads off. This cylinder was full of antifreeze. I took a cylinder hone and just a stone hone and I bored it out. Well, not bored out. I just honed the cylinders. Luckily, I didn't have to take it to a machine shop. It's about an hour and a half away uh, just to make it bigger because my pistons for the most part were actually just fine i just had to get the ream off it's my cylinder home i did replace the camshaft and the cam bearings which is behind this here this is the uh, gear that connects to your uh, camshaft i only had to replace one of these cam lifters because i broke it <coughs> yeah um sorry i don't have a video of replaying the replacing the cam bearings or any of that now one of the things i noticed when i took it apart is that before i got to it someone had actually replaced the um cam sh the timing chain before i did so this is a double roller and what i found was a double roller uh, before which meant someone replaced it because stock it doesn't have the second chain it only has one there's two dots there that you're supposed to line up and they weren't lined up this dot was over to the side a little bit meaning i had a huge loss of power and gas mileage it was very unfortunate so that's what's going on there and i'm just doing complete engine rebuild um and if you're interested in seeing how it's done or just a how-to video on how to replace things, I'll make sure that my videos don't talk, but show you how to do it. 